Second Gen Sables here, and I am giving you an updated barn tour for August because I'm wonderful and because this is the only time I have to film a video. Because after this, I have Arizona, Miami, Orlando, and horse camp, and then it's school time. Oh no, back to school. What do we do? So, this is my updated barn tour. It is currently very late, it's like 12, but because I love you guys and because I do enjoy doing these, I will give you an updated barn tour of Second Gen Sables. So, this is where the truck and trailer are when they are not being used. We'll start from here. This is the entrance. What now? This is where horses, people, trucks, trailers, everyone goes through because, you know, there's a huge chain there because it's closed for the night. Okay, this is the border barn. We have Nick checking out Cody because he has been showing signs of colicking and that is never good. That's Colorado and Colorado style. Okay, we have two Colorados. One of them is a trained pony Colorado, and the other one is the 2013 Appy Stallion Colorado. I did not know that at the moment, and then, and then I named both of them Colorado. Colorado, one is the one with the mess of the face. That is how I tell them apart. Uh, and, you know, they're just completely different colors and breeds, but yeah. This is Ace. Back there is Dakota, and over there is Bamboo. There is also a mini tack room back there. Bamboo has won a ribbon from the Riverdale Open. Woo! Go Bamboo! Okay, over here is our welcome sign that says Welcome to Second Chance Stables because we want you to feel welcome here. Um, this is Nancy leading out Wind Dancer. Wind Dancer is wearing wonderful tack from Striker Stream Stables. I am seriously telling you guys right now, go to her channel, subscribe to her. After you've done that, like all of her videos, watch all of her videos, and then order tack from her because she's a wonderful person, guys. And she makes wonderful charms, and she's just overly wonderful. She's so wonderful, I can't put it into words. Okay, continuing. Uh, she's leading him out. Hey, there is a sign more telling people that there are horses that are riding. And my phone is buzzing in the background. Uh, that's a salt block. This is the Marin Full Barn. Sorry for the terrible lighting, guys. It's nighttime. There's no all-day sun. Sorry about that. This is Cloud and Flicka. Back there is Calico and Diamond. Over there is Little Tiny Dexter, and that is Eclipse and Stormy, the Perchon Merit Full, because you might not be able to tell. And that is Victory. Up here is our second level. Alrighty. So this is our beautiful main barn, made by me. We have Jump Wings, a broom. Sorry if I'm rushing, guys. Really, really sorry. Uh, a new jump quarter is coming up because we do have another show that we are hoping to win. Or at least everyone is hoping to win. That is Cody's stall. That is Knight's stall. This is Memory's stall. And this is General's stall. Memory is all alone because all the other horses are outside or being ridden and she's not. But she's a little sick. This is a sick in the head. No, I'm joking. <laughs> this is a path to the wash stalls and tack up area. Uh, this is Victoria, who is going to tack up Quickstar. Quickstar is in one of our newly made sliding door stalls, if you compare the two. They do look very different. I am trying to make them neater, and the door slides in the front, and Victoria just fell, which is completely normal in some human beings. Completely normal. I do that all the time. So it opens in the front. It has a little hook for it to attach to, so it'll stay closed and the horse doesn't bolt out and scare everyone and scare itself. Um, it has bars everywhere, and it has a cardboard bottom and hay for bedding. This is Arizona, whose stall will soon be like Quickstar's stall. She is very, very jealous of Quickstar's stall. Uh, okay, that is a padded halter. This is Maple, oh snap. Um, Ma Maple's halter broke, so I have to fix that, but I'm being very lazy and I'm not. And I'm packing for everything, so I don't have time. So, this is Mabel. And that is her full jive. Picture of a horse, flower pot, vaulting equipment, quarter sheet, saddle pad, veterinarian kit, jumps, poles. I don't know what those are. They're probably the little empty tape thingamabobbers. More jump. A jump, actually. And our awesome tack room. Okay, that is the results of the Riverdale Open, which Emily did get first place in because she is a wonderful rider. Uh, okay, bridles, breastplates, martingales, saddle with a breastplate. Ooh, fancy. I don't know what that is. Saddle. There's another saddle under that one. I know that. Saddle, because saddles just breed. That's an odd thought. Never mind. Screw that. 
horse poo, because God loves horse poo. And horse poo comes out of horse butts, which we all do know. They don't just appear. Okay, back to the barn tour. That is Emily riding silver, going over a jump. That jump was made with little child blocks that you just glue together, and then it's like, you had a bubble tea straw. Bubble tea straws are very popular here in New York, because we have a lot of bubble tea places, because there's a lot of Asian people. Uh, let's not be racist, Diane. No one likes race. By the way, guys, if you didn't know, I'm Asian. Oh, my parents are from Korea. South Korea, that is, not North Korea. My grandfather, however, did come from North Korea. So we have a little bit of... I mean, it's the same Korea. It's just split it in two, because people can't agree sometimes. Anywho, back to the subject. Um, back there is Lisa on Lady, our brand new horse. She's just testing her out, taking her first test trip. Lisa... Lady is a green horse, which means she has not jumped yet. Um, back there are some jumps, some more trotting stuff. Did I miss anything? Did I, guys? Please let me know. And, by the way, if I haven't said it, no, I have. Over here is my most favorite level because I do not have to bend or get on a chair to see. Uh, this is our very beautiful main barn. Okay, we have Wind Dancer stall uh, with Emily's tack grooming box because Emily does own Wind Dancer. A little pitchfork because someone was mucking out a stall. See it's clean, they actually succeeded. This is Moonlight and Megan is just giving her her supplements and vitamins and all that wonderful stuff to keep her going and strong and healthy. This is Lady Stall. Lady now has a spot in the main barn which is where all the special horses go. No, all of my horses are special. This is Lisa's grooming kit. L stands for Lisa. L also stands for leech, but leeches are very, very good fruits, if they are fruits. Yes, they are. That back there is cobalt stall. Okay, this is general in, out in the paddock enjoying the sun or the rain. That rain is fine, too. This is Milky Way, our calf. Back there is our little tiny beagle puppy. Blankets, blankets, blankets. This is our Dachshund, Ray, who is named after the little demon that terrorizes my life. But other than that, this is Julia leading out Moon Dance. Moon Dance has Striker Stream Stables is blanket on as well as Lightning and Trickster. So I am pleased telling you to go check out her stuff. This is not free advertising. I really do love her. She's a wonderful person. She has wonderful tech. Go check her out. Thank you. That is that is it. Rabbits! I got new rabbits. Over there is Poncho. This is Thumper. That is Coco, and in there is Oreo. Oreo is the black and white rabbit for those of you that don't know. I'm just too lazy to open that. Sorry if I'm talking a bit fast. This is Lucy trying to feed a carrot to Thumpa. Thumpa, named after the rabbits in Bambi. Who doesn't love Bambi? I love Bambi. Bambi's kind of stuff. Rabbit feed, okay. Rabbit feed, uh, hay, and all that stuff. Okay, this is Nate mucking out Silver Stall, or just standing there with a shovel on the floor. This is Apollo, who is going to get customized, so he does not look exactly like his friend Cody, because I mix them up, and they do not like that. This is Lightning Stall, and this is Moon Dance's stall. Halters, 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 and a ribbon, a winter sash. Silver Bite, there's a sign warning people so they, so they don't just stick their hands in Silver's mouths because everyone does that. Okay, back there is Susan grooming Bella. Belladonna is her name. She's very fancy. A halter, Belladonna's blanket. That is a random white cat that we keep around because he likes us. That is a little divider thing which connects that area to this area you walk through there. So after a lesson, and you can go wash your sweaty, tired horse. Isn't that a wonderful invention? That top container is filled with boots and all that stuff. Bottom one is filled with saddle pads. And over here is Max brushing Colorado number two. So we can take him out for a lovely Western pleasure ride. Because who doesn't love that? Alrighty, and up here is our big red barn. I call it the big red barn because it's big, it's red, and it's a barn. Common sense, guys. This is Gucci. This is Arrow. That is a little tiny saddle. This is Bull, this is Mystery, and Dante, and this is a lead rope, a bridle, 
and a blanket back there, and I, and up there is hay, so I'm going to assume you guys can all see in there, so that is what it looks like. Alrighty, and this is our little paddock of cobalt inside, cobalt with a background, because everyone loves backgrounds, hay and water. Okay, this is Trickster. He was my first sledge. He's very special to me. I love him very dearly. Um, this is Dude, whose blanket is a little tiny bit tight, and he has a pink one, but pink is a manly color, dude. Live up. Uh, this is Jupiter, our wonderful new nappy stallion who I've won for a very long time. He is absolutely gorgeous and perfect and beautiful, but that doesn't mean all the other horses aren't perfect and beautiful because they are. This is Marley. No, this is not Marley. This is Sire chasing Wilbur the pig. I will not save Wilbur. Wilbur can become bacon because I like bacon. No, it's okay, Wilbur. I love you. All right, this is feed bins getting ready to be filled up because Lightning and Moondance are very hungry. However, Moondance will have to wait because she has a lesson. This is the feed and tack room. Again, I am going to assume you can see what is inside. Okay, blanket, and this is our little tech, our trailer area where people can bring the trailer back here to load horses, unload horses, all that stuff. Our truck and the sign that says you are entering a horse area, please slow down. So this is this main bit. If I have missed or skipped anything, let me know so I don't do it again in the future. Oh, by the way, that is our wonderful pole area. I probably already said that, but it's for poles, there's jumps, and... Oh, there jumps. This is where I have a collection of horses, so let me go over this really quickly. That is the paper mache horse that me and my kids made. I was a camp counter this year. Um, we made that together, and it is apparently an Appaloosa. So, yay! That is random horse bowling pin from my birthday party from, like, a year ago. That is a horse statue. This is a Japanese little horse thing that my friend got me for my birthday. I don't, that's probably a Melissa and Doug horse. That is a horse from Korea, near where my grandfather lives. Uh, that is a briar. That is big checks to cash for those of you who don't know. These are Safari LTD foals that I have customized and who look gorgeous, that I think. That is Knight. I'm getting a double for Knight, so I'm probably going to be customizing him too because I love customizing. Uh, that is the show jumping set, and that is the Western set. That is our doggy muffin, and that is another dog. And this is where I make tack, and that's where my orders are kept, etc. And this is where I put horses for photo shoots and all that when I'm making tack. Because, you know, they like to look pretty. Because, you know, everyone likes to look pretty once in a while. So, this is my barn. Thanks for watching, guys. Wait a second, I know I skipped something. If I haven't already shown you. That is cobalt stall back there. Right, right, right. Can you see my finger? Can you, right there, that is cobalt stall. Okay, now I'm done. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I will be posting a video of my trip when I get back from Arizona. Um, and I will be posting a vlog sometime this weekend. So hopefully this weekend or next weekend, or the week after that. Anywho, bye guys. Love you. Um, wait, that sounded a bit weird. No, it didn't. Uh, stay tuned, guys.